This is Beaky, a puzzle designer, who's made tons of excellent puzzles, and a lot of which have actually been covered on this channel before. Like in this video, I covered Sokoban 3D and Sokoban 40, and also down here, Edition Puzzle Make 14 and Make 00. They were featured in this high quality troll puzzle I must tell people about video, which by the way, 100k views insane. Yesterday, I started working on an interactive fiction tool. I posted about it in development, but I never posted a photo, so here it is. Hmm. I sunk a bunch of hours into it, but today I'm kind of wondering if I should have used that time on a different project. Well, it was a fun learning experience at least. So I was gonna fall asleep, but that screenshot gave me so many meme ideas that I was literally going to forget them all if I went to sleep there. So... So here it is. <laughs> a game is a series of interesting choices or something like that. And you can play this game right now. If I forgot to put in the description, then it's on my itch page, but you can just type options. Well, not type, but press. And after you pick five, which don't, doesn't do anything, <laughs> you gain score equal to the option number. So clearly gain six, right? Let's choose a button to remove. Well, it seems like option one is like the least good button. So let's do that. Well, no, wait, I trolled you because now you want to divide your score, but you can't do it by one. So <laughs> there you go. Gain score equal to the option number. Your option becomes negative. So we can pick like negative five. Now, because I made this game in only like an hour, I there was, there was just nothing I could do for duplicating a button negative times. I'm sorry that I didn't have the brain cells in that deprived mode to do so. But what happens is just nothing happens, but you do gain negative five times negative 50, which is actually a positive number. Let's take the advice of clown number three. So now you can see I have 258. So now I can keep an option. I'm, I'm not sure I worded this well, probably not, but I see me to update this game. So you can merge the other options. So now I have negative five and the sub 13. Now I can gain a bunch of random buttons. <laughs> And also now it loops back to the first option. So you can tell there's a way to gain positive score. It's also fun watching people in my community play this and try to optimize for a high score. So this time we do have option one. This scroll bar was added late in development, which is going to be funny later. Gain score, your option becomes negative. We can make that option negative five positive again, by the way. Uh, might as well do that. Okay, now this time let's duplicate this. Now we have tons of buttons, but, my, but our score is super negative. We will merge all this. Oops, yeah, I'm still working on the game that is, that I've spent way too long working on it and should have freaking released by now, but I don't know how to finish games. Anyway, gain the option of random buttons. So now <laughs> there's 226 buttons. If you just scroll all the way back down to get to the thing that happens, gain score equal to the option number. So let's gain 226. Button to remove. Divide your score by the option number, uh, I guess one, and gain score. So it turns out this way of doing it gives us a lower score than our highest in that run. So things definitely went bad by taking the lose points option. But okay, actually also in the last click, never mind, you ran out of clicks so and don't get your last action chess battle advance. And it was fun watching people in my community compare scores and such. <laughs> How did you all get a higher score? And people did find and try different strategies. Including one of the old, old chess battle advanced players who infiltrated my server. So of course, I would still invite you to try it yourself, but here let's try a better strategy. So this time, we're not going to get option 1 baited, although whether that matters that much, probably not that much, considering how high the score can get at the end. Now one option becomes negative, now let's duplicate option 6, and then keep the negative, although the main purpose is so that we can get tons of option 48. We're, duplicate we're, we're creating 48 random buttons. Now let's gain 48 score, although we're in the deep negatives in the current score right now. We'll do this, divide by 1, gain score equal to the option number. Option becomes negative, doesn't matter which really, but now we'll do this again. And now we can merge a ton of 48s together into option 2477 buttons. Don't you love video games? Anyway, that means now, gotta scroll all the way back up, hit this, I think. The other, next one I think is a remove, so don't remove the 2477. <laughs> the fact that you have to scroll all the way up and down, it like, I thought it was bad, but you know what? It, it adds to the stupidity of the game. In fact, like, it used to not have a scroll bar because I didn't know how to make it at the time. Divide by, okay, we're still in the negatives, and now the final one's gain score. So it wasn't intentional that the last one was gain score, but it it helps. I think it's, it, it just so happens that it the gain is at the perfect time to recover your score out from the negatives. So 
There we did a bunch of option 2477s, and we're going to end with about 2,000 points. Now before I get to the highest of high scores, let's go appreciate the designer's other games. And not like the addition puzzle which I already showed off in the other video, but this one, Coordinated. I played this like a long time ago, never recorded it, never showed it off, but I remember it being super cool. There's like portals, I think? I've already forgot the mechanics, I think. Okay, so if you press space with the numbers on portals, so I just put a 2 on that orange, so now I'm pointed co coordinate 2 and coordinate 8 on yellow. And if I press space, I can teleport to that, which also overwrites the number if there was one at that spot. So what are these? So I need to get both of those check marks, okay? So I can also push stuff out of the way like that, and probably get into the rooms on the right, because otherwise, why would they be there? Is there a multi-push? There is. So we can break through a wall by doing 2, 5, and op going here. I don't like how... You know, 8 is trapped, but maybe we're just forced to do that. We can also break into here, uh, although the situation means that I've really trapped a lot of these numbers off. Zero. Zero could be interesting, right? I think it's a zero meme, because zero is where the numbers are, so... Ah, uh, hello. <laughs> maybe not in that position. Some, maybe zero five from the other spot? There we go. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I couldn't do anything, really, with either of those. Let's do, like, 0, 4 instead. That way I can even put something in there. Now I have another... Now there's two zero spots, but... This doesn't really work, like... There's two 8s, but I already sacrificed both of them. Because I'm assuming there's, like, a duplication. That That is definitely the thing at the very end. But the number needs to be, like, usefully accessible for us to do something about it. I can do that. Now if I try 0, 6, there's nowhere for it to go, so space doesn't do anything. Okay, let's let's reset this, because what if we keep the 8s? Those are the only duplicates. Now that does mean I'm going to have to not lose the 8. That doesn't even- it's not even a good spot to break into. Hmm, maybe I break into 0, 4 or something? I can also, from here, I can break this wall, then this wall. It's more walls broken than before. I don't know why I trapped the 8 down there either. Okay, hold on, just gotta maneuver a little bit to get to zero, 4 So zero. Four, that's, that's, no. Zero here, four here, the eight's down. Which I think is what I wanted to do. I just gotta get all these blocks in, like, better positions. Already a bit awkward. With all the, <laughs> the, the side rooms I need to shove stuff in. Can I break open six, four? You probably don't need to do all this, but it just seems reasonable to break open a wall lets you actually get somewhere. Six. Four. Oh, there's, oh, yeah, there's no four. Also, wrong locations. <laughs> bah! Right, how about we just stick it to there, because that's totally fine. Here, and six, four is open. There we go. Should make the maneuvering a lot less ridiculous. Also, break open eight, four, because why not? Okay, I, I mean, I probably didn't need to do all that much, because you can stack an 8 in there. Now there's two 8s, and now you get two copies of yourself. There you go. Yeah, alright, cool. And that was coordinated. It probably didn't need to do all that effort at the end, but it was fun to break open the walls. Right, I'm just going to do the path to the high score now. So, and I, I think it's funny that sleep-deprived version of me just didn't come up with this, and, like, the game works out so interestingly anyway. The best option to click here is 1. We still remove option 3. Divide by 6 to get this. Yes, this is all gonna make sense. Click 1. Your option becomes negative. Still duplicate option 6 and merge it all into one option. Gain a bunch of random buttons. And continue throwing your score into the negatives. Remove, divide your score by 1. Reduce your score by 1. Put one of the option 1s to negative. Duplicate the 51s. Merge it all together. Gain all of these option buttons, gain negative one score, scroll all the way back down, choose a button to remove. You actually don't really get to use these random buttons, so you still need to remove one of them because otherwise you'd be left with only two buttons at this step, but now, look at this, divide your score by the option number. We're gonna take all that negative value 
and multiply. Well, I mean, multiply and divide are going to be the same because dividing by negative one is equal to multiplying by negative one. But there we go. And now the score is all positive. And now we just click the button to, uh, to, to gain 2,797. So that gives us... I click the last one you ran out of clicks. 5,600 ish. There is some RNG involved in the option values because it could be, you know, option ones or more option fives in here. But I love, like, it's just such a good numerical troll. Glad I got to use it, not intentionally, but still, like, going into the negatives and then turning it back. However, in the description, I do say my high score is eight length. No decimals either. So my high score is actually a lot higher than this. Is it getting darker in here? So, okay, here's another game. Uh, create, okay, so it's about doors. There's no sound effects, by the way. And I, I'm just going to this left because I can. You can push these around, these little button switches or whatever. Okay, so I guess the joke there was that you couldn't do it from the very beginning because you didn't have enough moves. It's almost like a move counter kind of thing. Nice plug opportunity. Okay, here. Now we have two of these. So they, they push with each other, right? So don't get them too far away as I attempt to push one. Hmm. No, this has got to be... What about a multi-push? Is that a thing? Let's go around. That didn't work at all. Uh, how about one to the right? Then I do this. Then they're closer together. All right, now try to do the multi-push. Well, I guess this... You can stack them. That's not a good idea. Hmm. I mean, they're closer to the right than before, which should be a good thing. Still can't seem to do it. Like, this doesn't make it. Okay, what about... What What if I do this, then this? That is that is way more than enough. There we go. It is sh sure is getting darker in here. <laughs> okay, where does this go? Upwards instead? Now they're too far away to edit, really. How about right push again? We don't have the turns, okay. Hmm, how about we push all the way? We cannot. Hmm. We can push this way. We can push something more leftwards. Oh, there we go. <laughs> sure is getting darker. There, there's now no more walls. Weirdly enough, there do seem to be some walls on the left side. I can't... There's like walls on the left, but there's none over here. So I don't know who the hell this is fooling, but there we go. <laughs> you win. The game's literally just memeing on the getting darker aspect. Also, night chess battle advanced game. All right, let's wrap this video up. So what is the thing that gives me an eight character long high score? Well, let's gain option six first, remove option three, divide whatever. This doesn't even matter. In fact, it might be interesting that there's no RNG involved in this, but we're going to make option six negative. Now duplicate option one. Now click option 5. So look at what the other options are here. 1, 4, 1, and a negative 6. So now we have option 0. We can gain some random buttons. Gain sort go to the option number. Uh, remove something. Now at this point you might be able to see what's happening. Although you don't want to do the interesting thing right now. <laughs> because if you click option 0 now, you get negative infinity. Since you divided your big negative number by zero. <laughs> so now nothing really does anything. Your option becomes negative. Uh, you can duplicate whatever. Uh, can you rescue this? I actually don't know if you can rescue this. Gain squirkle to the option. Choose the ones to remove. Divide by negative five. Okay, <laughs> we could have done this earlier, but we did save it. So now we have infinity. My eight character long score. And by the way, somehow this took more than one day to discover in my own community. Anyway, bye. I'm making a move counter game that I'm releasing soon. And procrastinating massively on the Minesweeper with Guns game.